Hey guys, it's Boss Tech 7 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put in your awesome KO Gadget Light Mod on your iPhone 4S. As you've seen by my recent unboxing video that I put up about two minutes ago at the time that I'm making this video, um, I got my iPhone 4S in, I've unboxed it, and now I'm ready to put on this completely amazing light mod for my iPhone 4S. So, um, just hang in there with me guys, this might be a bit of a long video, but we're going to go through and see how awesome this thing is going to look. So first thing you're going to want to do for sure is get yourself a microfiber cloth or some sort of soft surface so you don't scratch up your iPhone 4S or 4, whatever one you're doing it on. This isn't for the 4 by the way, this video, so it's going to be a little bit different in the installation, but I'll leave a link to I'll leave a couple links to help you figure out exactly what you need to be connecting to, things like that. So right now I'm powering off my iPhone 4S. Just to get that, all right, it's powered off right here. All right, and we're gonna open up all the things that KO Gadget has sent us. We got the tape right here. I believe this is the double-sided tape right here. Got the forceps, the two screwdrivers, pencil lobe, and Phillips head. We don't need this, these instructions because we've already watched the movie. Got the screen right here. And inside this thing, got the light mod, and I don't care about that. I would say um, I'm going to keep this around just to toss the screws in so I don't lose them while I'm doing this. So I, I would suggest you do that too, just as for organization purposes. So first thing we're going to want to do, whoop. and uh, first thing I would recommend um, magnetizing your screwdrivers. You see I've done that with mine, just because it's going to be a lot easier so you don't lose hold of those screws um, if you have them magnetized. All right, so let's take off these two bottom screws on your iPhone. All right, now we got those screws out, and we're just gonna wanna push up on the back plate right here. You do have to push with a good amount of force, I mean, not too hard, but not nothing, just to get this off, but once you do, it's not hard. Sit that aside um, on a soft surface, I'd say, so you don't get it scratched. If you do ever have a problem with your iPhone, this does void your warranty, by the way. So keep the back plate. You can reverse this mod unless you solder it to the actual connecting point. But keep the back plate so if you need any problems and you need to go to the Apple Store, you need to take off the mod, take off this back plate, and put this one back on for them to even look at it. Next thing we're going to want to do is take off these two screws right here, right on this battery connection place. Let me let it focus. Just take off these two screws right here. with the screwdriver because these can strip quite easily I have figured out. I actually had to sand my screwdriver down a little bit just to be able to get that second screw out. Then you just want to pry up the battery connector. And also there should be a little, a little thing right here, a little black um, clip or hinge or something. I don't know exactly how to describe it. But it should be either right here in the little section or it may come off and just go go around here somewhere, but you want to take this out and put it aside by those two screws you've just removed for later because you do need to put that back in. All right, next, we're going to want to come up to the EMI shield, which is just this big silver part right here. We're going to want to take that off. So you see it has four screws, one, two, three, four, right here on that thing, and you just want to unscrew those and then remove the EMI shield. And these are Phillips heads, by the way. There is actually this little clip down there that makes it a little bit difficult to remove, but there we go. All right, we are now in. Now what we want to do is pry up two of these connectors right here. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is take our light panel and we're going to do a little bit of fancy bending and wiring right here. So we undo this. Ooh. Open the bag. 
I'm going to use my Hulk strength to get this out. And as you should probably know if you're looking at yours, you have a red wire and a bronze wire. If you're colorblind, if you're colorblind go ask someone for help right now. But basically on the red wire, we want to pinch a little Z at the end. Or that's what they say. So you take this. And there we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. But we have a Z right there. But then on the bronze wire, we want to make it in the shape of a hook. Because this one we're going to be grounding under a certain screw. Alright, what we're going to want to do now is add a microscopic piece of tape on the eight dots, they say, in between the two golden rods. So I'm not sure if this will focus onto there. We see how we have the two connecting points right here and right here on these little eight dots right in the middle right there. We're going to want to want to cover those with tape right there. You see right above my finger right now. Those need to be covered with a piece of this tape right here. Because you only want to cover those dots. Alright, next thing we want to do is take the light panel and press the top of the Z side that we have down onto the little connecting point right above those eight dots we just covered up. So right above my finger, right there on that little square. That is where we're going to want to press the top of the red connecting point onto. All right, now that your light is connected on, sitting, resting on that connecting point, next thing you want to do is install the battery back in so take the little battery bracket that we took that was taken off earlier using the forceps and just place it right back on top of that it really is so helpful if it's magnetized guys like I almost just dropped my screw down in between the battery and that wouldn't wouldn't have wanted to take that out so really do magnetize these screwdrivers before you use them all you have to do is rub them onto a magnet okay guys now that we have the battery reconnected we're going to want to cut another piece of this little tiny tape to tape the connecting point down with the red wire on top of it so we know it doesn't come up this one can be a little bit longer you're going to go right back over those eight dots again just to make it easier for you and make it have a better, longer lasting connection. But it still needs to be just as tiny as far as being thin goes. And I always make sure mine is the right size before I put it over there. Alright, now that we've got that back on top of there, guys, we want to push these connectors back down into their spots. Replug those in. And we're going to want to test the light panel. So now turn the iPhone on. We just want to touch this to something metal. And it works. So the next part is a little tricky and kind of weird. But uh, basically you want to take the remaining remainder of your tape and roll it up into a little tube that you want to place on top of this connecting point. So when you put your EMI shield back on, it's going to put pressure on this and make it glow. So now that we have that, we're going to want to put our EMI shield back on and test to make sure we have this installed correctly. Alright guys, we got the EMI shield on, just so you know. It did take me a very long time to get the, this exactly placed right, so when you have the shield on, it'll just turn on when you hit touch it to any piece of metal, just because it was very hard to get that wire to stay on that little stupid little square piece of crap. But I finally got it on after about a um, 45 minutes of messing with it. Got that tape on. I would say do not use all your tape the first time, 
because you are definitely gonna need some more of it to redo it. I had to use the same pieces over and it did not work easily. But now that we got this square on there, um, you're gonna wanna take the little hook bronze cable that you made, take off this one left-hand side screw, open that a little bit, and just notch this around there under the screw so it will stay on. Now I know in the KO Gadget video, it does show you doing it on the right hand up in the right hand side but do not do it on the screw that they show you in the video because that is actually the Wi-Fi antenna screw and there has been a lot of instances where people have lost their abilities to use Wi-Fi on their iPhone because of that and there we go we now have the panel glowing and on Now we want to get out the brand new back panel that KO Gadget has sent us. After all of our hard work and figure out where we are going to tape this panel onto here. Alright guys, now they did send us some black tape in the package with it. But what I would actually recommend is using some black electrical tape. Because it's going to be a lot thinner. Because there have been a lot of problems with there being a gap at the bottom. And I'm going to try to make mine as thin as possible. So I don't have that problem. Whew, I'm so excited. And now time for the back panel. So we want to take out this little blue shield stuff over the panel. And we just want to take off this back covering. And just to compare the two really quick, like you do see, it doesn't have this shield right here. Also, it's a lot lighter. Some people have contemplated whether it's glass. I have, I do believe it's glass, but they have made it a lot thinner, guys, just so you know, just to accommodate that back panel in there. And lastly, we just want to put these screws back in. Grab my pentalobe screwdriver again. And there you have it, guys got the awesome KO Gadget Light Mod, and I'm really just loving this right now. Woo! This is amazing. This is where to be. And just like you know, um, this is Boss Tech 7 here with the KO Gadget Light Mod, and uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos, guys. Please subscribe, comment on this video. Have you had any troubleshooting problems, anything like that? How did yours go? Do you love it? Because I'm definitely loving mine right now. I'll have a review out of how well this works in a little bit. But for now, stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all later.